If you've ever wanted to go sailing on a piece of history, there's an opportunity waiting at a dock in Dorchester County this summer. The Nathan of Dorchester waits patiently at Long Wharf at the end of High Street in Cambridge, Maryland on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. About 14 passengers will embark on a two-hour journey from Cambridge Creek to the Choptank River, and judging from the breeze, we could be in for a nice sail. Welcome aboard the Skipjack Nathan of Dorchester, and uh, you've got an absolutely beautiful day. Today. Yes. It doesn't get much better than this out here. Uh, my name is Captain Doug. It's estimated that there are less than 40 skipjacks still sailing, with the Nathan of Dorchester being the new kid on the block. Uh, you are sitting aboard the youngest skipjack on the Chesapeake Bay by a long shot. She was built right here in Cambridge at the head of Cambridge Creek behind me, uh, launched on July 4th, 1994. We'll be using her push boat to leave the wharf for the chop tank, and before long, the all-volunteer crew are raising her sails to catch the wind. This goes back to about 1988-89, when the Dorchester Committee was looking for a way to promote tourism and industry in Dorchester County. And they came up with the idea of getting a skipjack. So they began looking for skipjacks. A lot of them were pushed up creeks and left to rot. The ones that they found were not really suitable um, to be restored and the ones that could be restored, the owners didn't want to sell. So in 1990, the decision was made, let's build our own skipjack. Of course, as soon as we reach the chop tank, we lose our wind. Thank goodness for that push boat. It's a little noisy, but it gets the job done. Right now, I'd say it's probably about three knots, but it's not enough to move this big boat. Ideal sailing would be about 12 knots. That would, for an oysterman, they'd want 12 to 15 knots to push the boat along, give it a lot of power. Our destination for today will be an oyster bed, where the crew will use a small dredge to demonstrate how skipjacks were once the primary tool for watermen working Delmarva's waters. And for the first year or two, they used it as a skipjack. They did some serious dredging with it, but then they found that the wear and tear on the boat, it was not producing enough, so they stopped that and we applied for a license just to dredge for demonstration purposes. So the dredge that we have on board, which is over on our starboard side, port side, um, is, a, is about half the size of a normal dredge. Once over the oyster bed, the crew deploys the dredge in hope of bringing up some oysters. But we're not after lunch. This is strictly a catch and release kind of day. Uh, anything that we bring up, we have to put back pretty close to where we got it. And that's for two reasons. One is if there's a disease on the oyster bar, we do not want to be spreading that disease throughout the Chop Tank River. And secondly, we'd like to ensure that the oysters are there tomorrow when we bring the next group of people out. 41. Bacteria would get it. 41. 85. Wow. That is good. So 85 oysters is quite a respectable haul, not nearly the number from days gone by. It was estimated that the oyster harvest reached an all-time high of 15 million bushels of oysters in 1884. But those numbers have decreased dramatically due to overharvesting, the effects of pollution, and diseases like MSX and Dermo. These days, conservation programs and aquaculture are taking up the slack. The skipjack is Maryland State boat, and it is very uh, indigenous to Maryland history, and it would be a shame if this segment of Maryland life passed away. On the way back to the dock, we'll tour Cambridge Creek, where the rich maritime history of Dorchester County is still evident. The Nathan of Dorchester is available for private charters and also group sailing tours every Saturday, weather permitting, from May until October. You can get additional information from their website. So if you want to try something fun and different, catch a ride on this skipjack that's keeping the traditions of the Chesapeake Bay alive and well. Yeah.